Yo YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Salvation Elite. We are back with another video, guys, and today we're comparing this new Modern Warfare gameplay with Battlefield with Rainbow Six, with Modern Warfare 3, with Ghosts, with Modern Warfare Remastered, and a little bit of Black Ops 4 as well, just for the fun of it, for the you know the nice new comparison. So I was watching the gameplay yesterday and we saw all the comments, all the reactions, everything about yesterday was like, I get it, like I totally understand that people might not be happy with it, and like my first thought as well was that it looked a lot like, you know, in Rainbow Six and Battlefield. But I think there's a lot of reasons for why it looked like that, first of all. And again, before we get into, like, the actual gameplay comparisons, I just want to say, like, we only saw, like, 10% of the game yesterday. We saw no maps, no game modes, no score streaks, no perks. I mentioned this in yesterday's video as well. And, like, thinking about, like, Black Ops 4 or other Call of Duties when you don't have, like, lightweight or dexterity or stock on guns or quick draw on guns because they were playing mostly without attachments yesterday. So that is something to consider. And the other thing as well is I think they were playing on PCs with controllers. So if you guys watch this video right here, as you guys are seeing slow motion, it's like a behind the scenes video of them. It looks like they're playing on PCs. And if you guys can see, it looks like Courage is holding a scuff impact. Yet in game, it says they're playing on Xbox. I'm pretty certain they were playing on PC, which means we were seeing it in 120 frames per second. And we were seeing it on a PC, obviously rendered through a PC. So it's going to feel and look a little bit different than it would on PS4. Obviously, that doesn't make up for all the differences. They obviously changed some things and there's a lot of new things with the new engine that are inside this game as well that make it feel different. Um, so we're just going to go through all that today and talk about it in comparison side by side with Battlefield and Rainbow Six and everything else. So I just want to talk about this versus other CODs. So the gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing is a mixture of Courage's gameplay from yesterday. We're going to see Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, which was in their uh, war or gunfight mode, or whatever it was, the 2v2 mode in Modern Warfare 3. And then we're going to see Ghost gameplay. We're going to see Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay as well. That were boots on the ground, not counting Infinite Warfare because it's nothing like this at all. So that's the gameplay you guys are seeing right here. So I think the, obviously the, the difference, the, the most obvious difference right away is like the bounce and the new animations that we're seeing with Modern Warfare. When they're running, they kind of like bounce a little bit more like, oh, oh, you know, a little bit more of a bounce. And then like the running speed does look a little bit slower. Obviously in comparison to Black Ops 4, like I said yesterday, it's gonna look insanely slow because Black Ops 4 is by far the fastest paced boots on ground Call of Duty game we've ever had. And like the spamminess of, and the crack nature of Black Ops 4 when it comes to movement does make this game look really slow. Again, the new engine does kind of put a new gloss a new vibe into call of duty which is what i think a lot of people are nervous about and i totally understand that um but i think it's important to recognize the differences and like maybe what they're trying to go for here and the other thing to consider that is different obviously is i think the recoil looks a lot different in this game than other games in other call of duties it did look a little bit more predictive obviously in black ops 4 we do have the predictive recoil in this one it didn't look nearly as predictive or predictive at all it's hard to say but I mean, if you guys just pay attention to the weapons, it does feel like it bounces like kind of pretty random and doesn't feel as controllable as other Call of Duties. And you guys are definitely seeing that in the comparisons that we're seeing. It's like the recoil is definitely a difference. And then like the ADS is slower and like the gun animations, I think in general are slower. And that could be because we weren't using any type of quick draws or stocks or anything like that. So that could be a definite difference of why it did look slower in those regards, like with the snipers and with the ARs and whatever. And Basically, with all the guns, it just looked like the ADS was slower and the strafing speeds were slower as well. And also, it did look like the pickup animations and the, the weapon swap animations are slower as well than most Call of Duties. So, again, versus other Call of Duties, it definitely feels like they're aiming for like realism. And I mean, I don't blame them for trying to aim for realism. Uh, there's definitely a hole in the market for like a really realistic console shooter that's multiplayer based that has the, still has some of the arcadey feels of Call of Duty. Like, I get what they're going for. Um, currently since like Apex and Fortnite kind of lean on the more fun, like, you know, lighthearted side of games. I totally understand like that market they're trying to hit. You do have to consider what some games have gone through when they try to go for the ultra realism. I like, think about sports games with, like Madden and FIFA. Most FIFA and Madden fans would say that Madden was better in back in the day or FIFA was better back in the day over the past few years and it's gotten worse as it's gotten more realistic, even though the graphics have improved, the gameplay becomes more realistic in in theory for those of you FIFA fans out there you might definitely disagree with that um but overall i just think sometimes if you lean too heavily on the realistic side it can become not as fun and so that might be a mistake that they find out or they realize here in the next few weeks and maybe they've already realized so 
Um, now it's time to finally compare this to Battlefield and Rainbow Six. So here is the side-by-side -side comparison of Modern Warfare versus Battlefield. I think the first thing you notice right off the bat is the the recoil for some of the guns does look fairly similar like with the shotguns and with the pistols like the very more vertical action of the recoil with the shotguns like does kind of feel more like battlefield and same goes for like the bouncing during sprints it does feel more like that and like the weapon animations do feel more like a PUBG style run or like a, a battlefield style run like where I, th I think in one clip he's like running with it like up above his shoulder kind of like that um so that animation is definitely different than most call of duties the, the screen movement in general does kind of feel like battlefield and so that is something to consider I don't know exactly how it's going to feel and i think it is important to realize that i think they were playing on pc like that is where that might make a difference with how the screen is moving the potentially 120 fps that they're getting or like the full 60 fps at the, the least does make it look a little bit different than it would if they're playing on just a straight up ps4 pro or something i mean i understand the whole comparison with battlefield but i wouldn't say it's like a remake of battlefield because there's obviously a lot of differences and the, in a lot of ways it still maintains the call of duty vibe which we're going to keep talking about here so the next comparison is the rainbow six comparison side by side so here we are this is, uh, I don't see nearly as many similarities here, okay? So people were saying, oh, it's a Rainbow Six remaster, like blah, 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 I don't know. People were saying like, you know, it's like a reskin of Rainbow Six. I just don't see that. The gunplay just feels a lot different to me than Rainbow Six. The HUD, I could see where the HUD kind of looks like Rainbow Six. And like the color schemes and the fonts they use kind of give off like that Rainbow Six vibe in a lot more ways than other past Call of Duty's, especially like Black Ops 4. And like recent CODs. I could see in that regard where it comes to fonts and HUD size. And like the, some people were saying like you can lean in this game. So now it's like now it's Rainbow Six because you can lean. But you can only lean around corners in this game. Like you have to go up to a corner and then you can lean around it or lean around the corner. In Rainbow Six you can lean basically whenever. You know so it is that's definitely not the same mechanic. Again I just don't see the Rainbow Six comparisons as much except for the HUD. So the whole HUD thing kind of got me thinking. Well maybe it's just because the HUD's different and that's why we think it looks like a different game so here's what modern warfare looks like with call of duty hud so we use the modern warfare remastered mini map we've got the call of duty ghost score count and we've got the modern warfare remastered guns on the right side so hopefully that gives a little bit more of a call of duty vibe to the whole gameplay that you're watching i think it actually kind of helps and in a lot of ways makes it feel more like call of duty i do think the mini map is something that we have to, like you know that we have to keep an eye on i really really hope there's a mini map in multiplayer i'll be really really disappointed if there's not again this is a this is the game mode specifically where they said there is not a mini map we don't know if there's going to be mini maps in multiplayer the leaks have said there's going to be a mini map only with the uavs but we don't know if that's going to be true yet i'm really on the side that i hope there's a mini map all the time in multiplayer so basically here's the comparison of all three of them side by side by side uh, again there are some similarities i can understand where people are coming from with this there are obviously differences and like you tell a cod fan hey one of these is call of duty the other ones aren't you they'll be able to pick which one's the call of duty i mean i'm almost surely they'll be able to pick which one's the call of duty the question that i want to ask is what can they do before the beta what can they do before we actually all get to play this multiplayer and the biggest thing that i want to see is to make sure that the ads is quicker faster than what we've seen we saw here is something that i think everyone in the community would like to have we don't need it to be like the maddox and black ops 4 we don't need it to be spammy cracked aiming all over the place but it would be nice if it's somewhere in between modern warfare 3 modern warfare remastered black ops 2 ghost very comparable to those is what we want for that like that's the type of feel we want things obviously be faster strafe speeds and less bop or like you know bopping up and down when we're sprinting i just don't think that fits as much in call of duty you know the apex legends that's one of the most annoying things in apex for me is the incredible amount of bop when you're moving inside of apex you know battlefield has that rainbow has that a little bit more too i just think it makes more sense if you don't have as much of that in this game one of the directors for infinity ward said that they were going to have motion blur options to turn off for your gun and for the world around you so there's gonna be two options for it which should make the game feel a little bit more clear and less blurry motion blurry and like it should feel a little bit better with that turned off so that's something i'm definitely optimistic about as well so again the last few things that i would like to see change is a little bit faster weapon pickup times and a little bit faster weapon swap times just because Call of Duty is about being flashy. It's about making the crazy plays. It's about being a little bit more arcadey, you know? And so that's where I feel like they need to stay in their lane with those things and not shift over into the Battlefield, Rainbow Six, PUBG style feel where it feels more realistic, you know? Whether they see this or they hear the community's feedback as a whole, I hope they take all that into consideration and really try to dial that up a little bit and make the game feel faster because 
that is something that has always been a thing of Call of Duty since literally, I mean, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. We're all fast-paced multiplayer. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this whole comparison breakdown. If you guys did, like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if you guys really enjoyed it. The community tournament is on Sunday at 3.30 Eastern time. I want to show you guys a clip of the last community tournament because it was so epic. And then we can get out of here. So here's the clip. Beamzilla. The inside new, we got a purifier, we got a war machine, Enigma's going all out, he gets killed off war machine, the purifier from Draco. This is the comeback they all wanted. This is where it always goes down. Enigma holding for 10 more seconds. The purifier just hosing him. A five point lead now. Tempest is in from Lavage. Lavage gets the break. And there's the break from Lavage. A five point game. Three and counting. They have to slide in. Two, one, and there it is. Oh my word. Atlanta. Woo! So again, overall, guys, the, uh, just come out for the community tournament uh, at 3:30 on Sunday. It was an epic time last time, the last three times. So this one should be just as good. We have a full 16 teams. We're all, they're all ready up and practicing at this point all together. So it should be a good time. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But as always, guys, I'm your boy Sebastian Lee, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.